What's going on, Rock Church? It's your pastor here, Pastor Josiah. Couldn't be more pumped to be back with you guys a little bit this week. Um, if you didn't know, I was out of town for my birthday. I am today, actually, 38 years old. I'll be honest, aging's a little weird for me. I think I've always been a kid at heart. And man, no one told me that when you get to be this age, it happens a lot faster. I feel like a week goes by and I'm 38. And 39 and 40, and it's just flying by, driving me a little bit crazy. But I'm also extremely blessed with a beautiful family and beautiful church and beautiful life that God has graciously given me. Couldn't be more excited. Um, today, I got to listen to Matt's sermon. Matt Coyle preached yesterday on Psalm 91, one of my absolute favorite psalms. And as always, he absolutely knocked it out of the park. I've always loved and really been drawn to people that have a genuine affection for the person of Jesus. In his topic yesterday, the thing that really stuck out to me was that whole line of the secret place. Any message that makes you want to leave there and go spend time with Jesus is a good message, and that is exactly what it did. What it did. I listened to that, and I'm like, man, I just want to go be with God. I want to go be with Jesus. I want to read his word. I want to pray to him. Um, I want to be with him. And I just want to flesh that out a little bit because I think that that is, man, it's so important. We never want to measure the Christian life just based off of your disciplines. When I say disciplines, I mean reading the Bible, praying, um, those things. But I will say that I don't think you can ever outgrow your private life with God. You cannot outgrow your private life with God. The time that you put in a genuine relationship personally between you and the Father is really where, and Matt hit this point so hard, is really where that transformation happens. You know, the Christian faith is both, is, it is a corporate faith. We are a saved people that God is restoring into his image. But there's also a personal aspect that we see definitely in the Psalms, um, definitely in Psalm 91, um, of this secret place with you getting alone with God praying to him, meditating on his scriptures, um, just learning who he is. Um, Jonathan Edwards in his book, Religious Affection, said this. He said, men will trust in God no further than they know him. And I think that's at the heart of what Matt was saying. I mean, you cannot outgrow your privacy, your private devotional life with God. You know, Matt, a lot of us know his story, 17 years in drug addiction, and it's an absolutely mind-blowing amazing story. And I love that he emphasized the point that really where that transformation happened. You know, church was great, kingdom communities are great, but really where it happened was that private, alone, secret time in the presence of God. And I want to just stress to you guys also, listen, you can come to church every week and listen to me, and I do believe that hearts are changed through hearing the Word of God. Absolutely. But man, you have to make that your own. You have to take those words that are preached and you have to get alone in a way, in a secret, private place with you and God and establish your relationship with him. And what's interesting is when you do that, you become a more active, better participant in the corporate body of Christ. You know, we want a church full of people that take their own relationships with God seriously, that Jesus Christ is their treasure above all things. And listen, if you're not spending alone time with him, you are not tasting of the goodness of who he is. So much happens in our prayer life, in our study life. There's been many times in my own life, moments that have shaped me, where I'm sitting there, I'm reading, I'm praying, I'm drawing on who he is, and I'm brought to tears and emotion and affection for the person of Jesus. That happens the most for me when I'm alone with him and seeking him, getting alone with God in my prayer closet. You know, Dallas Willard in his book, The Spirit of the Disciplines, talks about the discipline of secrecy. And I think this is a really good principle, especially in our culture, because typically here's what we want to do. We get alone with God, we read something we like, and we're like, man, I need to post this so everybody sees it because it's awesome. And Dallas talks about that we need to practice the discipline of secrecy. And why is that? because it starves our desire for recognition. So many of us are looking in our relationships and reading and praying for recognition, but listen, we need to learn to have a secret life with God. 
one just me and him, learning to be seen by him alone, learning to please him alone. Yeah, that sermon, man, it just, it really hit me. I think it was awesome. And also what was unique is, man, the sermon this week that I'm preaching on Sunday is really close to his. And I couldn't believe it. I actually started preparing my sermon before I'd listened to his. And I was like, wow, there's so much in line. Of course, we're gonna have a little bit different spin, but yeah, the message was absolutely incredible. Matt is a genuine guy who you can tell his heart is after God and after Christ. He made Jesus look really good yesterday. And I am thankful to be surrounded by men of God that are marked by people that are in the presence of God. Um, That's amazing. And Rock Church, you guys need to pray and thank God for that because those don't just fall off trees, man. God has graciously given us those men and they're being raised up into warriors for Christ. And I'm excited about what the future is going to do. And listen, all everyone else out there, other men, other women that are listening, we need you guys to be warriors for Christ as well. Take your private life, your devotion time, your secrecy with God seriously. Let him shape you, transform you, drink from the infinite well that is Christ. I love you guys. I can't wait to see you guys this week, both at Kingdom Community as well on Sunday morning. And I love you. See you soon.